Apologies, um, I'm still snotty. How? How? I don't know, but I am. Um, so again, I'll try not to sniff, but if I do, please don't judge me too much because this situation is not great. Um, but thank you so much for everybody's um, comments on my last post. It was really, really lovely um, to get so much feedback and I'm really pleased that you guys are pleased that I'm back and you want to see more content. Um, yeah. That was really nice, so I appreciate it. So I asked if you wanted to hear my engagement story and it was a resounding yes. <laughs> um, and um, I've also started vlogging again. I've got some footage from today um, that I'm gonna make into a vlog for this week. Um, <clears throat> and thanks for the tips. I am going to try and upload every day's footage onto my computer at the end of each day and like an hour or so before bed. Just try and edit that snippet so that the weekly editing task isn't, you know, a mountain that I have to climb on a weekly basis and lose all will to live with this. So thank you for that. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I thought I would tell you about my engagement because classic me, um, anybody that knows me in real life will know that I'm, like, the, me ruining Jack's proposal was always gonna happen because I'm, I'm terrible, I'm just, I'm just terrible. Mum has a story about when I was little and I basically ruined Christmas because I hate surprises, I always... I always want to know what's going on and I must have been, well, under 10 and my little brother was probably four or five and I really, really wanted a Pocahontas doll, um, like a Pocahontas Barbie for Christmas and I was determined because I knew my brother wasn't at school yet and he'd done the, you know, was helping mum with the Christmas shopping and I kept asking him what my present was and he kept saying, I can't tell you, I don't know, I can't tell you. And I just wouldn't stop because I am a horrible person. And um, yeah, we were in the bath and I was like, tell, tell me what it's not. And he said, um, it's, n it's not John Smith. And so I was like, oh my God, it's Pocahontas. Oh my God, it's got me Pocahontas. Oh, I'm so excited. To which he burst into tears and... I got really told off that I'd ruined Christmas and manipulated my little brother into uh, telling me that. So that's kind of what I'm like. Terrible person, basically. Morning. Um, it's Christmas Day. One, I had chocolate for breakfast. And two, Jack proposed. I have been with Jack to give you some backstory for, it'll be seven years in September. Um, and so every time I see my friends who I haven't seen for a while or I see family who I haven't seen for a while, everybody grabs my hand and they're like, oh, has he proposed yet? Oh, when's he going to propose? As I'm sure a million of you that are in a similar situation get all the time. Um, and I was always saying like, oh, not yet. You know what he's like. He's probably never going to propose because Jack's just super chill and he is not, I don't know, I just, he's not ever been that like fussed about you know having a big wedding or getting married straight away he's just happy with enjoying our time together and kind of you know not needing to change that in any way but I've always wanted to get married um I love the idea of having a wedding surrounded by all my family and friends and he's known that and so he's known since day dot probably that I really want to get married um and so I think he felt for a long time like as soon as he proposed it would be everything a million miles an hour we get married we'd have kids and it would be just like bang, 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 bang. so he'd held off a little bit I've planned a ton of the wedding already so he was right it is 100 miles an hour but um yeah so I wasn't expecting it at all um not even a little bit and on Christmas Eve, we were having my, uh, well, we were prepping the vegetables and things for Christmas dinner because this year, being the first year in our new home, um, we'd invited my whole family round. Um, so that was Christmas dinner for nine people and I wanted to get stuff prepped and ready. And so I was cutting vegetables and prepping the sprouts and stuff until like, I don't even know, I swear I started in the early evening and by the time I looked at my watch it was like on midnight and I was just finishing cutting vegetables so time obviously flies when you're having fun. Um, and so yeah, we just went to bed and it was 
about half one at this point on Christmas Eve and we're just laying in bed and Jack's exhausted because he's been prepping the turkey and everything else and we're just laying in bed and Jack's like drifting off to sleep and just I don't know where my head was at but I just out of nowhere I was like would it be so weird one day when my surname is Harrison and he was like it wouldn't be that weird like why would it be weird? And I'm like, I don't know, it would just be so weird because I've had my entire life with my surname as it is and it would just be really strange that it's changing. And he was like, it's 2016, Rachel, like, you can do whatever you want, you don't have to have my surname, you know? And, um, and I was like, oh no, no, I'd I, I want to take it, obviously I do, but it's just like, you know, just, I don't know, it's just really, it's, it's just strange, like, it would just be a big change and I'm excited for it, but, you know, he was like, what's brought all this on? And I was just like, oh, I don't know. We were chatting about marriage with my friends because I'd been to see some of my gal pals as I do every year, the day before Christmas Eve. And we have a little catch up and a meal and we'd be chatting about it. And, um, and um, yeah, so I'd been thinking about it, obviously. And I said, oh, you know, like, would you be, would you be annoyed if I proposed to you? And he was like, yes, of course I would. Like, you're not gonna do that now, are you? And I was like, no, of course I'm not gonna propose to you now. Like, it'd be ridiculous. All I mean is like, you know, if it gets to the next leap year and you haven't proposed, then I'll be 32. And you know, I, I don't know, I would like, I'd quite, I'd like, you know, I do want to get married. So it, like, I will propose to you if it gets to that point. And he was like, it's not gonna get to that point. And I was like, well, I just think about proposals and marriage and stuff and you don't. And he was like, I do, I do. And I was like, well, you don't, well, you don't really, not as much as I do anyway. And then I was just going on like about, I don't know, I was obviously just excited about Christmas and excited to be in our house. And so I was saying all this stuff about how we make such a nice team and like, I'm really happy where we are right now. And, you know, we just seem to be in a really good place and like, we're better together and all this soppy stuff. Anyway, I was going on. And he was like, you know, joining in with the conversation, obviously freaking out because he had this plan to propose to me and I had no idea. And, um, you know, I'm going on and on. Classic, classic me, like just didn't stop, just kept going. We're supposed to be in bed by now. It's half past one in the morning. Like we've got Christmas to prepare for and sleep to have. Um, and um, I was just like, oh, I was like, when you do, like, when you are, would you decide you want to propose, though? Like, would you ask my parents for permission? Would you, like, would you, would you, like, go and see dad and, like, and dad and mum and, like, ask if, if, like, for their daughter's hand in marriage? Or would you just, would you just not bother asking because you know my parents love you, so you obviously don't need to? And he was like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I haven't really thought about it. And I was like, why are you pulling such a weird face? Like, that's, why pouting? That's so strange. I was like, I don't know, I just haven't really thought about it. And I was like, well, you're pulling the weirdest face. What are you doing? And um, he was like, I need a wee. Just out of nowhere. And I was like, you need a wee? What's wrong with you? We've just got into bed. Like, we're about to go to sleep. What do you mean you need a wee? Like, what? And he was like, I need a wee. So he, like, jumps out of bed. And I'm, like, laying there in the pitch black, like, in bed. And, like, the bathroom is right next to our bedroom. And I'm like, he's not he's definitely not weeing, like, I, he's definitely not weeing, like, where even is he, I don't even think he's in the bathroom, and then he, like, comes back into the bedroom, and around my side of the bed, still like a beached whale on my side, like, under the cover in the dark, and he just gets down on one knee, and, um, was like, so I was going to do this tomorrow, I had it all planned out, I had a like a little speech I've been practicing, like this is all like the plan for tomorrow morning because we didn't buy each other presents this year because we've got the house, we don't have that much money. So he was said he was gonna make me pancakes for breakfast and then say, oh, I did like, I did get you something really, really little, like just a tiny thing and then go off and get it. Anyway, so he was like, I was gonna do all this tomorrow, but, but yeah, you kind of put me to the post with everything you're saying. It feels really stupid to wait until tomorrow after that whole conversation. And so, Rachel, will you marry me? And I was like, oh my god, like under the cover, pitch black, beach whale. Like, oh my god, are you actually joking? Like, are you joking? He was like, no, I'm not joking. I was like, is that a ring? He was like, yes, Rachel, it's a ring. And I was like, is it my grandma's ring? He's like, yes, Rachel, it's your grandma's ring. And I was just like, oh my god, this is so funny. This is literally so funny. Like, this is the funniest thing. And he was like, it's not that funny, Rachel. <laughs> are you gonna say yes? And I was like, of course, yes. And then like, gave him a kiss, but like, yeah, it was just like the most surreal thing in the world and I'm laying like a beached whale in the pitch black, couldn't even see the ring. Um, 
But yeah, he'd like orchestrated this entire thing and he had been thinking about it loads obviously and had decided the exact moment he was going to propose because he knew all of my family were coming over on Christmas Day anyway so it would make it really special and uh, he'd uh, sneakily got my dad to get my ring size um, over the last you know month and he'd got my brother involved my brother had brought the ring down for him the day before and he'd asked my mum and dad permission he'd FaceTimed them because I was at home and he didn't have any opportunity to do that um, without me suspecting something. So everybody was in on it. Everybody knew. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he had this whole plan and I, I ruined it because I just couldn't let it go and I just had to ask. I literally had no idea. I wasn't bringing up wedding stuff because I wanted to ruin his proposal because I even had the slightest the slightest inclination that he was going to propose. I had no idea. Um, but yeah, it wasn't quite the proposal that he was hoping for and that would have been absolutely perfect but at least it's a hilarious story to tell the grandkids but um yeah this is my ring I don't know if you can see it's just like um 1920s um little pretty ring it couldn't be more perfect for me my grandma had impeccable taste and we're just so similar so it just is like really amazing for me to be able to wear this and it be like a part of our family history and have it on my finger forever so yeah it was a really lovely um lovely occasion made it a really special Christmas and um now that it's been resized it fits perfectly and um yeah I'm just really excited I can't believe I'm engaged and we're planning our wedding for this year so yeah I'm sure I'll share more about my wedding prep and stuff turning into a bridezilla on this vlog but that's it for now thanks for making it through if you uh understood everything I was garbling at a million miles an hour then congrats and um yeah more from me soon I hope you enjoyed it classic me <laughs>